What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kay and Jay are here, and we're working on the wagon. So this is going to be another sponsored video by Max Feeding Rods. Huge shout out to Max Feeding Rods. Thank you, Max Feeding Rods and Max Feeding Rods Macy, for all of your continuous support. And thank you for taking care of the wagon. All right, guys. So you already know how many creaks and weird noises the wagon freaking makes we got pretty much every bushing blown out and i'm pretty sure we got every single shock blown out but not anymore because max speeding rods provided me this set of coilovers which we're gonna put on isa's wagon what do you think buddy tight. they're freaking red because you guys know i like red <laughs> and the sticker is upside down i did notice that in dana's video dana did point that out so that's very interesting okay we'll just flip the whole thing around yeah, we'll just install them like that. Yeah. Okay, so thanks to Tay, I guess these are EG for adapters, so that way you can use them on EG and EF. Because if you do notice, they do have 88 to 95 Civic bunched as one thing, and we all know that EF and EG coils are not the same. So I guess these are adapters, so that's really cool. So they do come with spanner wrenches, but like Dana said in his video, they gave us two of the same spanner wrench. And as you guys know, we need one big and one small. So that's very interesting, but thanks for the thought. Anyways, Max Speeding Rods, this is cool. Max Speeding Rod coils are not actually like your Slam Boy Stance Boy coils. They don't go as low as most coils go. They pretty much go to factory, maybe a little bit lower than factory, but they might go Just a lot higher. This thing all the way standing up on its little toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because it's still on its normal wheels. We still haven't found any real-time wheels. If you guys have real-time steelies available with center caps, please tap in. We're looking for those. We want to put the truck tires on them. And I pretty much maxed out one of the coils so that way we can see where it was versus stock. And it looks like it is about half an inch taller. So we would gain about half an inch in height, but Issa says we're going to slam it. So let's get these set to the lowest setting. However, I do know from watching everybody's uh, Max Speeding Rods coils videos already, the maxed out all the way to the low is going to basically dump the back and we're still gonna have like an inch wheel gap in the front. So I'm going to leave the backs a little high just to compensate for that. So that we hopefully we can get this right the first time. And as for removing the stock coils, you're pretty much only going to have two 14 millimeter nuts up here and that will drop the coil. Oops. And then to remove it from the fork, which we have already done, you have the 14 right here, and then you have the long bolt on the bottom. Remove all of those and it basically just all falls apart. Tay is taking care of the rear end. Check that out, we got a freaking axle. But, <laughs> but anyways, it's a lot easier back here. All you're gonna wanna do is break that nut right there or it's a bolt and it should be on a welded on nut unless that welded on nut broke. And then same thing inside of the car, our freaking shocks are broken, but inside of the car, you have the same setup, two 14 millimeters. It's even easier than the front. So we've pretty much got hands on every single wheel well right now. I'm going to try to take out the driver's side front just to show you guys a tutorial on how to install your coils. So let's get going. So right off the bat, I can tell you guys that the Max Beating Rods um, spanner wrenches do not actually fit any of the locking rings like 100%. You can use them on the lower locking rings, but as you guys can see, they have quite a bit of a gap and then the curvature is just completely wrong for the for the tops but you know i'm pretty sure you could get away with it i'm pretty sure these could function just fine and isa was just asking about the bracket for the brake lines that's actually a really cool feature on these max speeding rod coilovers is that they come with this adjustable um brake line bracket this is really freaking cool guys like if you don't know this is to mount your brake lines and if you have if you're not experienced with aftermarket coilovers this is almost never a feature in aftermarket coilovers we usually just zip tie the actual um to the actual cup but this is actually a really cool feature and i'm really excited about this so all we're going to do is fully twist this cup until it doesn't twist anymore which we should be getting close and that's right here and then we're going to lock our locking ring to it using our spanner wrench uh, that should be good and then for the preload that's what these rings are these are preload preload is essentially how much tension is on your spring at all times and we're going to keep preload with stock settings so let's see if these spanner wrenches work 
Uh, I mean, they kind of do. They don't really grip. Oh, yeah, they get the job done, guys. I managed to tighten these rings with them and I don't have to smack them with flat heads. So they get the job done. They might not be the perfect size, but they get the job done. So I'm gonna hand this off to Isa to get it installed. So these are the two fronts. As you guys can see, lower really gives you about an inch. This is the lowest setting. So these max beating rods can actually lower you a good inch. And then these are the rears. So as you guys know, our, the rear on the coils usually go a whole lot lower than the fronts. So I'm pretty much gonna just adjust them a tiny bit lower than stock. Since we're dropping about an inch in the front, we're gonna drop about an inch in the back. And this should be enough for us to not look completely dumped. So let's get this guy thrown in. To get the coil over installed, first slip your fork on. Just slip it over the axle and the bushing. Don't worry about it. And then let's get the coil. It's just the two nuts on top. Loose because we're gonna torque it down. Right? My bad guys, battery died again. But this isn't really a tutorial video. This is more so a max speeding rod review. And check it out guys. It went in perfectly. I have all the bolts torqued down. Everything is good to go. We also are running a Max Speeding Rods traction bar. And yeah, guys. So Isa is just going through torquing everything down. The only thing I can recommend to you guys that I do advise you guys to do is to use your original hardware on these coils. Because the one thing we did realize with Tay is that the nuts that Max Speeding Rods provides are a little light. And um, I don't know, guys. I just trust the OEM grade eight hardware a whole lot better. So this side's pretty much wrapped up. The only thing else that we need to do is the rear and the rear is even easier than the front. So Tay already took care of the rear end of the car for us pretty much. You're gonna wanna remove this bolt. It's a 12 millimeter, 12? It's a 14 millimeter and that will free up this arm and then your trailing arm will have so much more flexibility and then the coil over drops out the same way as it does in the front. There's just two nuts up there. It's a 14 and then there's going to be one more bolt down here holding it to the arm. And it is again, the same exact bolt, another 14. So let's do all of that reverse. When your buddy feeds you the coil through here, whenever he does, all you're gonna do is look for those studs and get the nuts on. We should be good to go. Nice. That's pretty much that. Shout out to Warmworks for sending me the bracelet. That's my original CRX dash. I actually listed it for sale for free and someone's coming to pick it up right now. So you guys might meet someone new. We might all meet someone new, but he's is pretty much wrapping up the last wheel well. And like I showed you guys, 14 millimeter there, 14 millimeter there. And then there's two 14s on top. And no, they're not torqued. All four max feeding rods are installed and hopefully the wagon is at an appropriate ride height and we don't have to take the wheels off again, but we'll find out right now. We're about to go on a ride and let's see how our new max speeding rods feel. We're also running the max speeding rods traction bar. So check out the last video to see our max speeding rods traction bar installed. If you guys did not see that. As for the coils, dang, she's high in the back. Okay, well, let's see how the front looks. <laughs> Okay guys, so I guess I was wrong. I guess the max speeding rods are very low on the freaking wagon. <laughs> Dang, she looks pretty good with no wheel gap. Um, but unfortunately, we are going to have to adjust the height on the rears really quick. All right guys, slammed wagon. Three, two, damn boy. She's low, low. She ain't really that low, but she is low. I mean, this is low for me. Damn, boy. Who says max speeding rods don't go low? <laughs> and yeah, guys, we do have the max speeding rods set to their absolute lowest setting. And guys, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. And then, damn, boy. Pulling up looking like big man out here. Dude, I just can't stop staring at it all freaking on the ground. Yeah, bro, like 
I did not like these wheels yeah. when we first picked up this car. Like, I made fun of these wheels. I called them beaner wheels. But, dude, I like them now. It looks like a little hot wheel. Poodle beaner wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just needed no wheel gap. So I'll say with these, I think if I put the truck tires on it and then have the OE wheels with the street tires, yeah, really cool. should be pretty cool. All right, guys, test drive. <laughs> Yeah, the car was, the car's actually a lot quieter now. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, Max Speeding Rods. Your coils are pretty nice. And we did not touch damper at all. Oh yeah, just the hype? Yeah. We did not adjust damper whatsoever. So I don't know where stock damper is on these cars or on these coils, but hopefully stock damper is right in the middle. Hopefully they're not all random. <laughs> so we should probably check that at one point. But yeah, guys, she's strong and she feels freaking great. <laughs> Jay and Tay. This is all freaking awesome, guys. She doesn't feel bad at no, I all. I just feel a lot better now. Yeah? All right, now that we've actually done some miles, Isa does say that there is a big improvement over the stock suspension. So, that being said, guys, if you have a daily on some blown out 30 year old shocks, I don't know. Maybe check out Max Beating Rods, use my discount code SAVE THE EFs for 10% off. <laughs> but um, use my discount code, hit the link in the description if you want to buy anything from Max Beating Rods, even if, even if you guys just want to browse. This is freaking awesome, guys. No off roading right now. No off roading. Not go in the dirt. I know you want to. No. <laughs> I was gonna try to go over there. Isa straight up driving to one of our trails right now, and we freaking lowered the wagon. purposes here these things feel freaking amazing we are yeah we are rubbing um we do rub on in our wheel wells you can hear the rear wheel wells definitely rubbing right there where we're on that curve they're probably gonna rub over here now let's see not really this side was longer yeah but all of our, our wheels clear lock to lock we're pretty good and our mud flaps are not scraping on the ground at all times that's all good stuff. But like I said, guys, very impressed with the max speeding rods. This is my first time riding on them until today. And I can honestly say I'm pretty impressed. Did I introduce you guys to Sally? I don't think you guys have even seen Sally in this whole video. I know, right? She's always been everywhere. Sally is Issa's companion and we've gone on freaking tons of crazy trips. <laughs> Sally right literally goes everywhere. Dang, she's low, low. Follow her on Sally the Do on Instagram. Sally has an Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> Sally has an Instagram? Yeah. How does Sally have an Instagram and I don't even know about that? Oh, I just never told you. 
Sally has an Instagram. Let's all and follow. I always forget. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna tag Sally. Where are you at? How'd she get over there? So if you guys want to follow Sally, I'm gonna put her at right here. <laughs> Tay's 89HF for anyone new. It's an 89, right? Tay's 89HF for anyone new. And he says 91 real time wagon. Lowered on max speeding rods. Dance live, bro. When the Mustang with no front bumper goes and wraps up at the Honda Boys. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed anything you saw, please smash that like button. If you enjoyed more Tay and Jay content, please smash that like button. And if you guys want to pick yourselves up a set of max speeding rods, please hit that link in my description. Lose, lose, use discount code, save the EFs and save yourself some money. These are a very good budget coil over. Tay is also running on three out of four max speeding rods, as you guys know. If I posted the video, you guys know. And yeah, you guys, I will see you guys later. Like and subscribe. I've said that like a thousand times, so please do it. Later. <laughs>